Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys how to build my automatic wolf farm, which is what you can see behind me now. This farm is a fully automatic wolf farm in that it automatically kills the wolf cubs once they turn into adults for us automatically, only leaving the drops for us to collect when we need them. This farm works with the default cap, which is for the wolves, so we won't have a load of wolves running around everywhere, which indirectly makes this a server safe farm as well. So I'm just going to give you guys the behind the scenes tour to see what's going on here. So we have our breeding pair here, nothing too special, we just keep them fed and they keep on, you know, producing. Pretty standard setup here. Behind here, however, we have our drop bit that goes down here and from here our little babies and up here. Once our little babies are here, they are free to live their happy little lives in this little room, and that is amazing. Now, as soon as they turn into adults, however, their hitbox size increases and they are no longer so happy, because they then start making contact with the smoke. The smoke causes damage over time, and that eventually kills them, leaving all of the drops here for us to collect whenever we need them. Cool. Now then, next steps, I'll show you guys how we go ahead and we build this, shall I? First things first, get yourself a nice flat plot of land, and then we'll start building the foundation. We'll use these guys, the log beam that is 4 meters. Add one there, and then we'll switch to the 2 meter there. And another one there. And one there. Here. And another 4 meter there. Lovely stuff. And now we go and we fill up the floor. There, there, there. And we need to extend it on this end ever so slightly. Like that, 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 and that. And I'm just going to add another one here, another 4 meter, just to create a snap point there. Now then, get some logs and we'll just get our guiding poles up to get the uh, the height right. And on top of these, we need another 2 meter one. Lovely stuff. Now build ourselves a wall there. This side needs to be a smaller wall, so we'll do it there and there. Here, 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 and this one. You fill up this little gap right there. I'm going to go ahead and make this slope here. So for that, I'll use these fellas, the shingle roof. You can use the other one as well. That is also the 45 degrees one, the thatch one, if you're you know, short in resources. But I'm going to use the shingle, add it there, add it there. Nice little slope. And then as for this side, let's add one more right here. We'll use that as a snap point for the roof. Let's go in there, and there, and that is looking beautiful. Now we can take this one away, and then use these smaller ones there. So smaller one there, smaller one right there. And we add another wall here, and now we need to create the angle. So, right, no, oh, that's a bad snap point. You know what? Let's break these quickly. Create the angle firstly. Right there. That took a while. And now we fill this up. This is very important, by the way. Uh, this is for our smoke. So we need to guide the smoke through there. That's why we need this. Next thing, we can add our... Where is it? It is the... Da -da -da -da, this fella. The hanging brazier. So you'll need one of these. Go ahead and add this fella right in the middle there, and as low as you can. Right, that's fine. Perfect. The reason why we use a hanging brazier is quite important. It is the only structure that produces smoke at half the rate of any of the other structures. So it just makes it way more manageable. It also doesn't die out when there's a load of smoke around. So this will simply keep all of the items from despawning as well as killing our adult wolves in there. Cool. 
let's fill up these walls and it'll start to take shape. So I will do uh, this and I'll actually add one here. So we can peek over the side here and keep refueling this when we need to. At the top here I'll add a bit of an angle. 45 degrees there. No, that's a bad snap. There we go. And another one there. Nice. Looking pretty good already. Okay, now let's fill up these walls. Let me see. Now we need these ones. There. This one needs to be extended as well. No, it does not. I am lying. Don't listen to me. From here, we need to add the cage walls. Cage wall right there. 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 And there. So yeah, you'll need a bit of iron, obviously, to do this part. But this is essential. This funnels our smoke. Smoke can't actually pass through these, which is kind of funny. Um, so smoke will get funneled by that and by this side here. As soon as we add these here. So it's kind of like an upside down waterfall kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. Sweet. Now then, this is basically a false floor. I know it sounds a bit weird, but yeah, that's basically a false floor. Because this smoke will still hurt our wolves when we leave the area. So we add a second floor where our wolves will actually be standing on right there. And we can fill this up. Now this side, do not use these. Do not ever use these because they are thicker. So we'll once again need to use some cage wall. There, there, there and there. If you use a normal wall, your babies will get stuck on there and they will just kind of sit there, which is not what we want. Go ahead and fill this up, so there, there, if I can see, sun all up in my eyes, and here we'll just use some of these, this side's fine, we can use some walls here, wall, 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 and same on the side, let me just see, yeah, that's fine, Go ahead and do that there, and that there, and then we use some of these to fill up this corner. Cool. Now this floor needs to be a bit wider than it is here. So we'll add these here, and there, and finally a little bit more, so just like this. Now, I don't like the look of it being so unsupported, so I am just going to go ahead and add a support beam there. And there, and then I'll add a tiny one at the bottom there. If you guys struggle to get the clip, just press Q up until it shows snapping top. You see, and it snaps at the bottom. So yeah, quite useful to know. And then let's do these walls. There, and there, and fill this guy up. There, and there, there, and there, and these sides as well, leaving space for a little door here. Alrighty. And now we just add the little divider right in there. And now that is that part done. Let me just see what else needs here. Uh, we just extend these poles. So let's do this just to kind of, you know, make it match, really. And of course, you can later on, um, you can replace these with the um, with the other ones. So the dark wood pole is what I'm using to decorate, along with the um, the shingle roof. That's what you saw in the initial video. So go ahead and use those to decorate as soon as you have, you know, the actual foundation up and going. And that looks like that part all done. Now what is left to do is we need to get the wolves up here, obviously. So you, ideally, should have a tame wolf already when you're uh, looking at this video. <laughs> so if you build stairs like this, you can easily guide them up there. And the good things with wolves is that you can also just press E on them and then they'll follow you up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my wolves up here and then we need to seal them in there. And both wolves are up here. Go ahead, destroy these. I don't want them wandering on down. Now we need to get them right in there and then build one of these. So bonk them in there. Build that wall. 
pretty simple. Please don't fight me. No, he's going to fight me. Aha! Got him. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to feed them now because I need to put the, the roof on next and the camera angle is pretty bad when trying to put a roof on. Uh, let me see. I need to get myself some boar meat, so bear with me a second. Okay, so meat acquired. Now from here, if you stand right on this tile here, normally, and you aim right there, it normally falls right there. You want it to be right underneath his jaw, basically, in order for them to eat. Let's see if that works. Give it a couple of seconds. See if he starts chowing down. If not, we retry. Now that works. Once again, aim right there. And some meat. And let's see if he chows down. There we go. Lovely stuff. You love to see it. And there we go. Love is in the air. Blah, blah, blah. They're doing their thing. Now let us add a roof here. Let me just see which one I used. I believe it was this one. Because they fit perfectly with this layout that I have. So, yeah. Yeah, it looks about right. Put them right on there to protect our precious investment from potential horror. 26 degree one there and a 26 degree one there. And I don't like this, so I'm going to add just one of these there. Just to make it look natural, really. Cool. From here, I'll add the stairs instead. I hate these stairs, but they take less space. So I'm going to add them right there, get rid of these. And like so. And now from here, we just need to add ourselves a little door, which would be this one here. There. Voila. Voila. And now I'll just decorate this by what I did in the video is I just added some of these dark wood beams. They run along these quite perfectly. So we'll do that and that and if it will allow me. There we go. Cool. Now obviously use whatever beam um beam beam beans yes use whatever beam you fancy in order to make this all beautiful like and then that is what this looks like if we hang around here in a moment there is a hole this is not ideal need to fill this up so if you already ended the video there you'll have a hole in your build but there we go that is perfect in terms of decorating. I know in the video that I added some of these guys, like here and so on, to make it you know look a bit better than it is really. Um, but these beams, don't add beams here, it'll just drop them on the other side, and don't add any beams here. They'll get stuck, so not there, not there, they'll get stuck and they won't drop through. Anything else, feel free to decorate. And that is that. All done. You are now the proud owner of a fully automatic wolf farm. Obviously, keep them fed, keep this field, and then this will keep on running as long as the area is loaded. Perfect. Now, let me do some decorating or whatever, and it will look well, it can look something like this. Cool, and we're all done. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll be making more tutorials like this in the future, so if you like this sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe. And apart from that, this is me, Zerger, saying have yourselves an awesome day, and goodbye. <laughs> Cheers.